So first day of dropping out, just came home from school. I've been there, talked to the school advice and all that kind of stuff. So finally, cool to have a chance of following my dreams. Could a guy like me make it? Right now, I'm starting from scratch. I truly do. So what we're gonna do? Tomorrow, I will go out, knock on every single door in the neighborhood, and then I'll save some up some tiny amount of money to do my Facebook ads. Could a guy like me make it? If I have to work, I don't care because just tasting a little bit of that level, that will always keep you motivated. Go of the day on your whiteboard or wherever. I'm gonna make the store. I gotta have product descriptions ready. You guys did 10 minutes into this, 10 minutes into a new ad set. Just got launched 10 minutes ago and we already are killing it on the upsell. If you want this as bad as you want, that if you really say, you gotta get out and do that shit work, get it done. So success was never supposed to be easy, guys. It's all about consistency. So I was basically screwed, like I, I dropped out, I was, you know, risking it all. It sucks, like I lose a lot of my income, but keep being consistent, put in the work, don't give up. If you give up, you're a loser. This thing right here, it's been running for three days, three days. And it's pretty insane, you know, for such a short amount of time. But there you guys can see the testing ad set. I don't know if any other people even do this stuff. Like this is just so crazy to realize right there. Guys, you gotta have clear goals. You gotta know exactly where you're going. Like up in my mind, I had some things I wanted to do. I wanted to buy the M4, for example. Sort of like visualizing myself driving it around in the capital here in Norway. Okay guys, here's the car. It's an M4, it's yellow. It's always been my favorite. This is called Austin Yellow and it's 450 horsepower or 431. Friend showing it to my parents, letting them know what's gonna get it and they didn't believe in it either like my parents was always joking they were saying like henrik is gonna buy an m4 haha they you know joking with their friends and everything because they didn't believe it guys but that just goes to show you can do whatever you want guys okay guys so i just got back from the dealership and i just got this new car this is an i8 and the coolest part about this is that you watching right now can do it too and this sounds like it's this sounds like a core sell or something it's not do not get me wrong guys you know me and this is all because of the power of setting goals when i was younger i used to sit in my parents bedroom and just grind and I used to put in the work. I used to, you know, stay motivated. I was just a hardworking guy. And trust me, boys, you guys watching, I'm no different than you. I'm no different. I don't know a lot of things, but the one thing I know is dropshipping. That's the only reason why I got this car, because I know how to do Facebook ads and dropshipping, and that's it. So if you guys don't think you can get this, I'll, I said it. I'm no different than you guys. And you watching right now, you could get this car. There's no reason why you can't just focus a little bit, and you'll be the next. Yo, Eric, how much did you make in an hour? $1,500 in one hour. It's only 6-7 a.m. already. 0 to 10k is real, dude. What would you say to people that says dropshipping is dead? I'd say they're just trying to scare you out of dropshipping. Do not listen to that. Seriously, it almost deterred me too. Dropshipping is alive and well. What's going on guys? It's the Econ Boss here and in today's video, it's the second episode of me taking a subscriber store from 0 to $10,000 a day. Spent $8, versus the 25 daily, you know? Could a guy like me make it to Beverly Hills or whatever with my Ferrari and all that kind of stuff? We'll see. Like go for a walk or something, just trying to see where you want to go, trying to daydream about it, think about it. You get your goals clear, just do it, dude. There's no motivation, there are days you don't want to go up, there's no motivation, some days you just don't want to do it, you're just like, nah dude, I don't want to do it. What do you think the hardest guys in the room are going to do? The guys I talked about earlier, that's hardest, and they, they don't rely on motivation. 